Russia as a modern state began to form under Ivan the Terrible, Grand Duke of Moscow, who became the first Tsar in 1547. During his reign, he conquered the first non-Slavic states of the empire, the Khanates of Kazan and Astrakhan, thus assuming control of the Volga River and access to the Caspian Sea. But his invasion of the Crimea in the south failed, and his attempt to gain access to the Baltic Sea in the west resulted in the 25-year-long Livonian Wars. In the east, the Cossacks under Yermak Timofeyevich began... In 1519, the Portuguese navigator Ferdinand Magellan sailed in the service of Spain to seek a new route to the Spice Islands of the East Indies. After a three-month voyage across the Atlantic, Magellan's fleet of five ships made a landfall on the coast of Brazil. Exploring southward, the expedition spent the winter in a sheltered bay on the coast of Patagonia, where Magellan suppressed an attempted mutiny and executed the captain of one of his ships. The voyage was resumed in the spring, but one vessel ran aground and had to be abandoned. Its crew spread among the rest of the fleet. In October, Magellan entered the straits that were later to bear his name. One ship deserted the fleet, but the expedition completed the passage and emerged into the Pacific Ocean in November 1520. Sailing north along the coast and then westward, the fleet headed out into the unknown ocean. They crossed the equator and made a landfall on Guam, one of the Mariana Islands, in March 1521. Reaching the Philippines in April, Magellan and 40 of his men were killed when they became involved in a local war. The remaining crewmen abandoned one vessel and spent the next several months raiding passing ships. In September, Juan Sebastian del Cano assumed command of the voyage, and the two remaining vessels, the Trinidad and the Victoria, sailed to the Moluccas Islands to trade for spices. The heavily laden Trinidad ran aground and was left behind to make repairs, but the crew were later captured by the Portuguese and imprisoned. The lone Victoria continued the journey westward. The Cape of Good Hope was rounded in May 1522 and the ship returned to Spain the following September. The original crews of 270 men were now reduced to just 17 Europeans and four East Indians. In a three-year voyage, begun by Magellan and completed by Del Cano, the expedition had discovered a new route to the Pacific and had completed the first circumnavigation of the globe. Visual artists translate the experience of life into colored figures and sculpted shapes. For us, the viewers of art, these images act as a medium, enabling us to relive, in a small way, the initial experience of the artist. The oldest known images are drawings of animals or people on cave walls, created more than 25,000 years ago. They were created to invoke magical power over the animal or person drawn. In later cultures, religion replaced magic as the focus of artistic interest. For the Egyptians, the human body provided a visible image that reflected the forms of the gods. Classical Greek artists sculpted images of the gods as idealized human bodies. The elegance and vitality of their work brought the human figure to life for the first time.
Anthropologists believe that the ancestors of modern human beings developed in Africa. The earliest true hominid, or precursor to human, is probably Australopithecus, who lived in open woodlands rather than forests, like the apes. The earliest known species is Australopithecus afarensis of Africa, who lived about four to three million years ago. A descendant, Australopithecus africanus, appeared about three and a half to two and a half million years ago, and may be ancestral to both humans and later Australopithecus. The earliest human species, Homo habilis, emerged about two to one and a half million years ago. Australopithecus robustus and Bocii, descendants of Afarensis, lived during the same era as Homo habilis, but probably became extinct. A significant ancestor was Homo erectus, about 1.6 million years ago, who had a larger brain, a smaller jaw and teeth, had developed the hand axe, and knew how to make fire. Homo erectus was probably the first to move out of Africa, evolved and adaptable enough to survive very different environments. During the period of about one million to half a million years ago, Homo erectus moved north to the warmer parts of what is now Europe and east to Asia. Homo erectus migrated as far as China and Indonesia, where evidence of his presence has been found by modern paleontologists. As early man evolved, he also moved. From about 500,000 to 30,000 years ago, there were migrations across Asia and a land bridge that led to North America. During this time, Homo sapiens appeared, about 250,000 years ago, evolved to a brain size close to modern man and capable of adapting to challenging conditions, yet still retaining a large face and big teeth like Homo erectus. Further migrations from about 30,000 to 10,000 years ago brought man to Australia and from Asia to the other side of the world through an emerging land bridge to North America and down to South America. Modern human beings, Homo sapiens sapiens, probably appeared around 40,000 years ago with a bone structure almost identical to people today.